All right, folks, there she is. This is the official Dragon Door ISO chain in the flesh. I figured I'd do one of these little unboxing videos here, partially because I got this a little bit early. The Dragon Door sent me my copy a little bit early because I'm going to be doing some official Dragon Door ISO chain video projects with them. So, of course, I need it to do those videos. So, it's not quite officially 100% out yet. But uh, it is coming soon, of course, so that's why I wanted to share with you as I'm un unboxing this and let's see what we got inside. So without further ado, let's just cut right on into it. I know I'm, technically I'm getting this thing upside down here. Let's see. basic packaging of course this is similar it reminds me of with uh, the body weight master and stuff well made well packaged everything's in good order basic instruction manual of course this wow that is a lot longer than I thought it was but that's what they'd mentioned in the PDFs and stuff that they've been sending for the past year or so that the handle is not like a standard curl handle you'd get on a cable machine or something it is quite long for various grips versatility there there we have the brains of the operation right there all of the computations and stuff for isometrics all the programming and all the workouts that you have this rubber is actually very durable this is a pretty tough rubber strong i like how it doesn't feel like it's gonna lose a grip or slide or rotate around. Has a nice beefy feel to it. My hands are a little bit on the big side, so I really like that. It's hard to put a lot of pressure into a narrow handle. That's one of the reasons why I've always felt like conventional dumbbells and a lot of barbells were uncomfortable. Too narrow a grip, so that's nice and beefy there. I'll set that off to the side. This is, of course, assuming our chains. Our connections. Oh yeah, Ooh, that's got some heft to it. This is where most of that weight's coming from, is in the chain. And of course, it's not just the chain. Okay, so chain has this hefty duty spring to it. Part of the reason for the ISO chain isn't to just give you numerical quantification of how much you're pushing or pulling, but also to give you a little bit of neural preload. So that's what this is for. This is a really heavy duty chain. Oh my gosh. Or a uh, spring rather. This is, I mean, I can't really even pull that apart or bend it, which is exactly what you want. This is good because I was kind of worried a little bit. This is what they've put into the chain so that way you get a little bit of a loading factor so that you're not just pushing or pulling against something that's a static force but i was concerned that the ch the uh, spring i keep wanting to say chain the spring would be too easy and it would just be this kind of flimsy thing that you would just pull against and it would feel kind of cheap and chintzy uh just holding this in hand i mean this god this has got to weigh at least five pounds just alone with this this is really heavy duty very pleased to see that uh, being the way it, it is here. And we got our chain. Yeah, that's not gonna break on you. <laughs> Holy smokes, this is a very robust set of chain. I like this, it's not, uh, it doesn't have that feeling of a chain that was just like spray painted black, like a cheap, this is, uh, Electrostatically applied powder coated paint, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but this, just feeling it in my hands, this is durable. This is a good coat of paint or whatever they use to apply it. So this is, uh, I mean, it's a chain, you know, there's nothing really too much to say about it, but uh, I, I appreciate those little details that just make it feel like it's not something you just get at the hardware store. This is a fully developed 
product uh, that you purchase. It's not just uh, something you just threw together at the last minute. That's one of the reasons why the ISO chain has taken the time it has to become developed because they've been going through all the little details to make sure they get everything right. This is, of course, your platform. You've got the tread plate here, uh, things like rounded corners to give it, you know, it just looks a little bit better. It looks nicer. This does not feel sharp at all. It doesn't look like it was just cut out of sheet metal. It has a very nice smooth edge to it. Nothing rough or abrasive at all. This, uh, my bolt net is welded solid on. So I, I am pleased with first impressions on this. This is not something that seems like it was just made from a hardware store. Uh, as I was saying, it feels like a full on viable product that was really refined and they went over every little detail to make sure it's as good as it can be. So I will spend the weekend using this sucker and uh, come back with a review in about a week or two and tell you what I think about it. But right out of the box, I have to say, I'm impressed. I'm excited by what this is and I'm excited to see what this can do for my training and isometrics. Thoughts and questions down below. Be fit, live free.